everybody. Welcome back to the Jimmy Dore Show. I'm joined by the host of 2012 on the TYT Network. It's Michael Schur. Hi, Michael. Glad to be here, Jimmy. Looking. Love being on the Jimmy Dore Show. Oh, it's great. He's already doing great work, making me look good. That's the important thing here. Sidekick makes me look good. All right. So right now we're going to talk about, I, I sat down to, uh, first of all, the debate, right? So everybody's trying to figure out what happened to Barack Obama. And I just, people don't know that his prep team was made up of mostly replacement reps. That's what happened. <laughs> Not a lot of people. And Cliff Clavin. <laughs> Cliff Cl I many of you old enough to remember that reference? Okay. Of course. So that's Except what, he's a Republican. I, oh, that, he is a Republican. Yeah. That's why. That's <laughs> right. right. See, that's the problem. I think Barack Obama would have done a better job if he would have just came out and took a shit, literally, right? Because people would have been like, oh, he's under stress. <laughs> right. Well, I thought he was really. He was better as a chair next to Clint Eastwood. Yes, he was. <laughs> yes, much better. Wow. So, uh, he, honestly, he looked so sleepy during that debate. I was uh. afraid he was going to get date raped, honest to God. So it was. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Anyway, so here's oh, here's Al Gore. Uh, here's what he said. Here's what he thought was wrong with um, Barack Obama. When you go to 5,000 feet, exactly, uh, and you only have a few hours hmm. to adjust. That's interesting. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. See, it was the altitude, Michael. See, if you when you go to five, he was in Denver. When you go to 5,000 feet, you know, I was just in Indianapolis last weekend. We stopped. We had to change planes in Denver, and from gate 36 to gate 39, I forgot how Social Security worked. <laughs> <laughs> Gore blames climate change for everything. <laughs> ah, <laughs> ah, nice. There, that's that groundling training. It's the, the sidekick. The job very, of the sidekick. Very nice, and he. Not, and I'll tell people he wrote the first joke too. This guy's on it. All right. So, uh, so then uh, they bring on David Axelrod onto the uh, Face the Nation with Bob Schieffer. And uh, here's what David Axelrod thought was Barack Obama. Here's what he said. Well, what happened was the president showed up with the intent of answering questions and having a discussion, an honest discussion about where we uh, go as a country. And Governor Romney showed up to deliver a performance, and he delivered a very good performance. It was completely unrooted. In fact, it was completely unrooted in the positions he's taken before, and he spent 90 minutes trying to undo two years of uh, campaigning on that stage, but he did it very well. What, uh, are you saying that uh, Governor Romney lied or was dishonest? Well, I, I like Bob Schaefer. Are you saying he lied? I mean, I'm a newsman, but a politician lied? I like how Bob, is Bob Schaefer doing his best impression of my mother. <laughs> Oh, those magazines weren't yours? <laughs> <laughs> those cigarettes were his friend. It was his friend's jacket. It wasn't his. Yeah, I know. It's unbelievable. Are you saying he... I mean, that, don't you think that's a bigger problem? We, we've done it before on the show. We showed last week how uh, Tom Brokaw wouldn't say Paul Ryan lied at the, at the convention. He said, kept saying overreach. Yeah. And, uh, I, you know, he, I would like... Well, if you're, you're going to be that bad of a newsman, how about an overreach around, all right? That's what I say. <laughs> well, I, I think it's insulting to Bob Schieffer to compare him to Tom Brokaw. Tom Brokaw, okay. But, but you know what these guys are going for. They want, you know, Schieffer wants to be on the evening news hearing himself say he lied, and then Axelrod saying he lied, and that's the clip they run forever. Oh, is that what he's trying? He's trying to bait him into saying? Of course. But don't you, why wouldn't, if I was Bob, if I was a newsman, I would feel like such a dummy. It's like it's like if I was a if I was a, a reporter and I just re, re, uh, covered magicians in Las Vegas and I'd be like, are you saying it's in his pocket? <laughs> <laughs> He's not really sawing her in half. Is that what you're saying? Right. That's what it, it's the equivalent of what he just did there. Yeah, the uh, the, the feigning shock. Ridiculous. <laughs> yes, the feigning, <gasps> and especially Mitt Romney, who's right. Wikipedia now is going to call that lying. Now it's going to be a new entrance under mid. I'm going to just cut that joke. That's stupid. <laughs> All right. So I'm watching the, the Bob Schieffer, and uh, you know, they gave him an extra half hour. Now you sound like your mother, too. So yes. I'm watching the Bob Schieffer. I'm watching him on the cable. <laughs> right. And uh, so I'm watching Bob Schieffer. And they gave him an extra half hour uh, to do Face the Nation. It used to be just a half hour, and all the other news shows were an hour. And uh, now they, gave, they extended it. And uh, I just want to check in and see how he's using the extra half hour. Let's see. Today on Face the Nation, what a difference a debate makes. The president's top strategist, David Axelrod, is with us this morning. We'll ask him about it. And we'll hear from conservative columnist John Fund and Michael Gerson of the Washington Post. Analysis from our own Nora O'Donnell and John Dickerson. 
Okay, so so far so good. Sounds like he's putting news in the news show. That's well, I nice. like how he also says conservative columnist John Fon and Michael Gerson of the Washington Post. So you think, oh, a liberal and a conservative, except no. that Michael Gerson worked for George W. Bush. Yeah, two. He meant two conservatives. Right, yeah. yeah, I'll just say conservative once, right. so you don't hear me saying it twice and kind of blowing. Then I'll cover. say Washington Post. <laughs> yes, <laughs> make yeah. you think it's all even. That's right. They're conservatives from a liberal newspaper. It's a switcheroo. <laughs> Okay, so here's but here's the ne here's the rest of Face the Nation. Here's the rest of it. Then, with the baseball postseason underway and Washington's team headed to the playoffs for the first time in 79 years, we'll talk baseball with the Dodgers' legendary Tommy Lasorda, Tony Larusa, manager of last year's World Champion St. Louis Cardinals, Jane Levy, who literally wrote the book on Mickey Mantle and Peter Gammons of the MLB Network. It's Banner Up on Face the Nation. And I say thank God Bob Schaefer took the second half hour to talk baseball because ESPN 46 is going to be off the air for a few hours later. <laughs> And, and I won't be able to have tw non-stop 24-hour baseball. It's unbelievable that no, he's... It's as unbelievable as Chris Berman's coverage of Syria yesterday. <laughs> 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 yes, I like how when they do that on the NFL this weekend, they'll take a, a little bit to go talk, cover the Middle East. Yeah, right? that's always. What they that's, do. that's what they do. On We're going to take a look in at another dead uh, <laughs> diplomat over in Syria. Unbelievable. That's how, he spent, uh, that's how he spent the extra half hour. Thanks, Bob Schaefer. Do you have anything else to say about Bob Schaefer? <laughs> no, just that it's pronounced Schaefer. It's Schaefer, not Schaefer? It's Schaefer. Oh. What about, oh, Schaefer's the beer. To have when you're having more than one. Oh. That was my favorite. Well, let's talk about that for a okay. second. Okay. A great, show how times have changed. Schaefer is the one beer to have when you're having more than one. Yeah. So it's basically just buy a bunch of Schaefer and drink a bunch of yeah, it. Yeah, it's get like. hammered. What, well, the, what they really, the first slogan was, uh, Schaefer, don't buy it if you're just going to have one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're going to get hammer skied, okay. 